So I'm a really big comic book nerd, and in the comic books, there's a villain named Zoom, and he's a villain for the Flash, always trying to destroy him or to ruin his life in some way. But I'm going to show you a Zoom that can be your absolute best friend. The picture-in-picture -picture Zoom feature on a Mac or iPad. Start off in your system preferences, and then go to Accessibility. The second option down on the left-hand side is Zoom. Again, this is the good kind of Zoom, not the villain. And then you'll notice some checkboxes with some different options. You want to make sure that you've got Use Keyboard Shortcuts to Zoom clicked and turned on. The different options are to toggle the Zoom by doing Option Command 8 turns the Zoom on and off. To Zoom In is the Option Command Plus or Equals key. To Zoom Out is the Option Command Minus or Dash key. I'm going to choose the picture-in-picture -picture zoom, and it gives me, when I do turn it on with that option command 8, it gives me this little panel here that I can move around the screen to zoom in on certain parts. If I do the option command plus, it zooms in. I can zoom in pretty far, and option command minus zooms back out again. So if I want to showcase one particular thing on the screen while I'm demonstrating something to students or another group of people, I can do that. I'll show you what it looks like if I'm in a web browser. This can work anywhere on your computer. If I was demonstrating something in Google Docs, I toggle the pane open with Option Command 8. And then I can just highlight a certain part of the screen for my students. Again, I can zoom in and zoom out as needed. Well, there is also a way to do this on the iPad as well. When you're in your iPad, go to your settings. That's the silver gearbox looking icon. Then go to accessibility. Within accessibility, the second option down is zoom. And the default is for it to be turned off. When you open this, go ahead up at the top where it says zoom. You want to toggle that button to turn it green. You'll notice that there are some additional instructions underneath the Zoom section. Look further down the screen and you'll notice I also have the Zoom region set to Window Zoom. Using three fingers simultaneously, tap the screen. And the same type of little pane comes up here. Now with one finger, I'm going to grab that little tab down at the bottom of that pane. And I'm going to move it around the screen to zoom in on what I want to zoom in on. Now, if I want to zoom in and zoom out here, I take three fingers and I tap a couple of times and then by moving my three fingers up or down within that pane, I can zoom in or zoom out of what I'm trying to look at. To make the zoom window go away again, go ahead and take your three fingers and tap twice simultaneously. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. You can also find me on Twitter at HawthorneTech73.